Yes, and uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is uh, meeting with President Zelensky becomes uh, important. And let's put that in context before um, uh, we talk about a little more about this Gandhi bust unveiling, which has just happened. Uh, Ambassador Sajjanhar, what is it that President Zelensky expects from uh, Indian Prime Minister? I think what, uh, in addition to the, uh, you know, humanitarian and medical support, etc., that India has been providing, and that was also mentioned by the, uh, during the visit of the Deputy Foreign Minister of Ukraine when she visited India, I think basically what President Zelensky would want from India is greater uh, political support and a pushback against Russia, which uh, India has uh, not been uh, willing to give, and even in the interview that Prime Minister Modi has given to the uh, friend, uh, to the Japanese publication Nikkei. He has uh, made it uh, very clear, absolutely clear, that uh, our position is uh, not going to change and we will continue on our uh, position of uh, promoting and favoring diplomacy and dialogue and working towards peace. So, uh, and uh, there, there are very uh, sound reasons, very cogent reasons, which we have very effectively articulated uh, Maria in spite of all the pressures that India has been undergoing for the last 15 months that we should we need to change our position number one in terms of condemning Russia for its uh, action. So while in all our meetings at the UN Security Council of which we were a member till uh, uh, December last year and also in the UNGA, we have spoken out very strongly in favor of the UN Charter in favor of the UN principles, in favor of uh, ensuring uh, the principles of uh, uh, territorial integrity and sovereignty of states as to how they need to be respected, how they uh, uh, should not be violated. So we have spoken out in favor of that, but uh, that, uh, you know, crossing the Rubicon has not been done. We have not uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, criticized or condemned uh, Russia directly for its uh, aggression for its attack, although I think uh, we can see that there is a growing discomfort with uh, whatever, you know, the violence, the destruction of the infrastructure, the displacement of 8 million uh, women and children from Ukraine into the neighboring countries, etc. So we are very uncomfortable with all that, but we have not uh, condemned uh, Russia. And the second uh, point is in terms of uh, import of larger quantities of uh, oil from uh, from uh, the Russian Federation. We used to, before the war started, our uh, offtake of uh, Russian oil was uh, less than 1% of our requirements. And today I understand uh, it is more than 30% of our requirements. But that also, we, we have explained that, uh, you know, our population at about $2,000 per capita GDP is really not in a position to, uh, to uh, uh, you know, be sustained on uh, very high prices of uh, crude oil imports, which is what is uh, uh, obtaining as far as Middle East is concerned. So here we are getting oil, uh, crude oil at less than $60, and that is very essential for our own energy security, for uh, reliable and affordable energy security for our people. That is very essential, and India has... Uh, uh, also uh, argued in favor of this, although uh, just last week when uh, External Affairs Minister Dr. Jay Shankar was in uh, Brussels, he, uh, there was this comment made by the uh, European uh, Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell that uh, India needs to be hauled up or action needs to be taken against India because of its uh, import of cheap yes. oil refining and then exporting to uh, Europe, but uh, India very effectively countered that particular position and, uh, you know, we have not heard anything after that. So I think India's position is uh, very yeah. uh, well articulated and uh, very well established. I think the Prime Minister will definitely, uh, uh, there is a huge symbolism in the meeting of uh, the Prime Minister with the President Zelensky. But uh, beyond that, I think substantively, we might not see any significant change as far as India's position on the war and on support to uh, Ukraine and pushback against Russia is concerned. Maria. Yes, uh, Ambassador Sajjanhar, since you were referring to that uh, interview that he, the Prime Minister gave, gave uh, to Nikkei Asia before arriving in Hiroshima, there was a question that was asked whether India can play the mediator uh, in this uh, uh, you know, conflict between 
Ukraine and Russia. The Prime Minister said that India's position is clear and unwavering as far as its support to Ukraine is concerned. And then he goes on to say, uh, we stand for peace. We firmly believe in that. We are committed to supporting those who face challenges in meeting their basic needs, especially in the face of rising costs of food, fuel and fertilizers. We maintain communication with both Russia and Ukraine and cooperation and collaboration to, should define our times, not conflict. Those are the words of Prime Minister Narendra Modi.